And again, Jesus began to teach at the sea, and much people was gathered to him, so that he went into a boat and sat in the sea, and all the people was about the sea on the land. And he taught them in parables many things, and he said to them in his teaching, Hear ye, lo, a man sowing goeth out to sow, and while he soweth, some seed fell about the way, and birds of heaven came and ate it. Other fell down on, on stony places, where it had not much earth, and anon it sprang up, for it had not deepness of earth. When the sun rose up, it withered for heat, and it dried up, for it had no root. Another fell down into thorns, and thorns sprang up and strangled it, and it gave no fruit. Another fell down into good land, and gave fruit, springing up and waxing. And one brought thirtyfold, and one sixtyfold, and one in hundredfold. And he said, He that hath ears of hearing, hear he. And when he was at, by himself, the twelve that were with him asked him to expound the parable. And he said to them, to you it is given to know the private of the kingdom of God, but to them that be without forth, all things be made in parables, that they seeing see and see not, and they hearing hear and understand not, lest some time they be converted and sins be forgiven to them. And he said to them, Know not ye this parable, and how ye shall know all parables? He that soweth, soweth the word, but these that it, but these it be, that be about the way, where the word is sown. And when they have heard, anon cometh Satan, and taketh away the word that is sown in their hearts. And in like manner, be these that be sown on stony places, which when they have heard the word, anon they take it with joy. And they have not root in themselves, but they be lasting a little time. Afterward, when tribulation riseth, and persecution for the word, Anon they be caused to stumble. And there be others that be sown in thorns. These it be that hear the word, and disease of the world, and deceit of riches, and other charge of covetousness, entereth and strangleth the word, and it is made without fruit. And these it be that be sown on good land, which hear the word, and take and make fruit, one thirtyfold, and one sixtyfold, and one in hundredfold. And he said to them, whether a lantern cometh, that it be put under a bushel, or under a bed? Nay, but that it be put on a candlestick. There is nothing hid that shall not be made open, neither anything is privy that shall not come into open. If any man have ears of hearing, hear he. And he said to them, See ye what ye hear, and what measure ye meet, it shall be met meted to you again, and it shall be cast to you. For it shall be given to him that hath, and it shall be taken away from him that hath not, also that he hath. And he said, also that, that he hath. And he said, so the kingdom of God is, as if a man cast seed into the earth, and he sleep, and it rise up night and day, and bring forth seed, and wax fast, while he knoweth not. For the earth maketh fruit, first the grass, afterward the ear, and after full fruit in the ear. And when of itself it hath brought when it ha, when of itself it hath brought forth fruit. Anon he sendeth a sickle, for reaping time is come, and he said, To what thing shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or to what parable shall we compare us in it? As a corn of sinapi, which when it is sown in the earth, is less than all seeds that be in the earth. And when it is sprung up, it waxeth into a tree, and is made great th greater than all herbs, and it maketh great branches, so the birds of heaven may dwell under the shadow thereof. And in many such parables he spake to them the word as they might hear. And he spake not to them without parable, but he expounded to his disciples all things by themselves. And he said to them in that day, when evening was come, pass we again word, and they left the boat and took him, so that he was in a boat, and other boats were with him. And a great storm of wind, and a great storm of wind was made, and cast waves into the boat, so that the boat was full. And he was in the hinder part of the boat, slept on a pillow, and they raised him and said to him, Master, 
pertaineth it not to thee that we perish? And he rose up and menaced the wind and said to the sea, Be still, wax dumb. And the wind ceased and great peaceableness was made. And he said to them, What dread ye? Yet ye have no faith. And they dreaded with great dread and said to each other, Who guessest thou is this? For the wind and the sea obey to him.